All right, guys, I picked up another IGBT inverter based machine. This is made by Yes Welder, model ARC 145DS. And the sticker here shows a 125 amp stick welding machine. So let's unbox this. Uh, I think I can use this. <laughs> Got a strap, a manual. I don't know why we have a TIG torch and consumables in here. Huh. Oh well. Our electric little holder <laughs> yeah that works nice ground cable here now I don't know if the cable is uh, really thick or there's a really thick jacket on here an adapter once again from 110 to 220 and what do we got here what is this? It's like a lunchbox. All right, so we're done unboxing the ARC 145DS. Should show 110 and 220 volts there, but there's a big old gash there. So let's look at the front here. And what do you know? It is a TIG welder. Here's the plug that comes with the machine, standard 110 volts. And like I mentioned earlier, I didn't know this was a TIG welder. So here's the setup. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the ARC 165, I believe it is, next to this one so we can see how it looks in reference or in size, comparison. All right. So that's the difference, the ARC Pro 165DS, ARC 145DS, Pro, non-Pro, TIG, no TIG. Alright, so let's get some 316 inch plate here, start tacking, welding, and see what this little machine is capable of. Alright, so I maxed out the machine at 145 there, and I'm going to weld these two uh, plates of 316. Maxing it out. I want to see if the machine's capable or if it's gonna have any uh, issues. So go for it. So 145 seems a bit high for that thickness of plate there. The machine still ran nicely. Didn't bog down or anything. And that's where I started kind of uh, having issues uh, starting my my arc there. Other than that, I think it's pretty good.
That'll work. All right, guys. Last weld, 90 amps. Worked pretty good, especially for the size of this machine. There you go. Where's my welder? Where's my welder? Here it is. <laughs> I get overexcited with um, miniature stuff like this. 145 amps. Sixty percent at one hundred forty-five amps. One hundred percent at one hundred twelve amps. And um, yeah. All right, guys. So we got four beads here. These are all seventy eighteen. Some are three thirty-two, and some are one eighth. They all look good except this little section here and this one over here. This one I struggled to uh, strike the arc there. And um, left all the porosity. That's my fault. Other than that, the welds look pretty good. They look decent. And 6011 didn't go so well. These IGBT machines struggle with uh, 6010. Some struggle with 6011. But 7018 seems to run perfectly on these small machines. Um, other than that, guys, I think the machine did well. And... I'm planning on giving this machine away pretty soon. I still don't know how, but I'm going to find out. Now, if you throw your gloves like that, you'll probably lose your welder for for a while. <laughs> it's a tiny little machine there, but um worked excellent. Lightweight. And um, if you like the content, guys, uh, leave a like below, a comment, and um, any questions, let me know. And, um, you know, stay tuned for the next video. I'm always doing videos, uh, whether it's welding or reviews on machines. And um, got another one coming in. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to this one or maybe to the 165. But, um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.